panic behind us. Today, the focus turns to trying to keep as many Wachovia jobs in Charlotte as possible. It is a daunting task for city leaders. News Channel 36's Bobby Sisk is live at 6. And, Bobby, let's start out talking about that stock. Well, that's right, Sonia. The stock, in fact, today was up 90%, closing at 350 a share. Still, though, that is down 95% from a year ago. Meantime, we know Mayor Pat McCrory talked to the head of Citigroup yesterday, and we learned today that he hasn't yet, but he will talk face to face with Wachovia CEO Robert Steele. Now, in the meantime, the mayor, who's in a race for governor with Bev Perdue, went back on the campaign trail today. This, as behind closed doors, other movers and shakers in the city talk strategy. That is video from our talk with the mayor yesterday. The goal, according to the Charlotte Chamber of Commerce, is to sell Charlotte to Citigroup, sell the fact that it's cheaper to do business here than it is in New York City. After all, Wachovia has a lot of real estate here, including a new building under construction in Uptown. Also sell the valuable commodity of a ready and trained workforce. While there are still a lot of questions about this deal, Citigroup reinforced today its commitment to make the deal with Wachovia work despite the failure of the financial bailout plan for Wall Street. Reporting live tonight, Bobby Sisk, News Channel 36. All right, well, from the mayor of Charlotte to the person on the street, we're all looking for answers about what the Wachovia takeover is going to mean around here. And News Channel 36 reporter Rad Berkey brings us some perspective tonight from a man who has been watching the ups and downs of the region for years now. Rad is with our mobile newsroom tonight at Wachovia headquarters in Uptown with that story. Rad? Well, figuratively speaking, there's a cloud of dust over the city of Charlotte. This after the takeover of Wachovia back there. We went to see Jeff Michael today. Jeff is an expert in urbanomics. He watches the city. He understands the city. And he says the early impacts are easily predictable. There will be job uh, losses here. And, and perhaps more significantly, they're going to be at the high end of the pay scale. So there's going to be... His job as head of the Urban Institute at UNCC gives Jeff Michael a unique perspective on the likely consequences for Charlotte of the Wachovia takeover and the job losses he sees coming. There's going to be a ripple effect in the Charlotte economy uh, from retail to the real estate. That's the short-term outlook. The long-term picture is harder to predict. Charlotte is a city built on banking, and Michael says has enjoyed a charmed life until now. But a dose of reality has set in and may require the city and the region to look in a new direction. What we may see is that robust growth that we've seen over the last several decades may slow down a bit until Charlotte can regroup and determine uh, perhaps a new future beyond banking. And so Jeff Michael says there are some tough decisions and some tough days ahead for city officials and for all of us. Outside of Wachovia headquarters, reporting live from our mobile newsroom, I'm Rad Berkey, News Channel 36.